All right. Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Quixote, uh, Quest for Glory, which is a new game. It's on Steam. And full disclosure, I received my copy of the game for free and uh, and we're going to play it. So uh, I like those. Vo I like the voice acting there, but it was uh, it was it was weird because it was just the recording and it had a little bit of an echo because wherever they recorded the the voice acting wasn't you know wasn't soundproofed. Um, so I feel like it would be they would be doing themselves a favor if they put some music behind it or even some room tone or something just to sort of kill the echoes. Um, but we're gonna jump in. Uh, Okie dokie. I guess, I guess that's the one we're doing. su juicio, un extraño pensamiento tuvo. Buscar aventuras como caballero andante, con las armas de sus ancestros y su caballo rocinante. So I do like the, uh, the Spanish voice acting. That's cool. I'm wondering if there is an English version or if it's just, is she just reading this? Because uh, I feel like if she's saying stuff that's not just this, um, am I missing out? But... I, my Spanish isn't good enough to know. <laughs> In which Alonzo Quijano becomes Don Quixote of La Mancha. He lost his mind and lost his sense, and as a knight errant set forth, and as a knight errant sent set forth, armed with ancient weapons, riding a skinny horse. All right, let's uh, let's get our super authentic Don Quixote experience. I'm ready. Ready to rock. Okay. Alonzo Keanu has decided to prepare his arms and horse and set forth on his adventures. You must complete his mission. Uh, okay. These cards will allow you to move about the scene and collect objects such as your armor. On your turn, you must play three cards. Some cards have special power that is activated when a condition is met. These are all the cards you have. In some situations, you will lose cards. After you have moved, the other characters will move with th these three cards. If you find yourself next to another character, you will lose three cards, or you will fight if the character is violent. If you don't like your cards, you can refresh your hand, but that will cost you one card. Okay? The books will give cards to you and to your enemies. Choose when you want to read them. Use the mouse to rotate the scene and view it from a different perspective. Uh, okay. So the mouse, moving the mouse to rotate the scene doesn't work, but I can, I can do it with WASD. Okay. Okay. So we got the helmet of the ancestor. Sturdy half visor helmet to protect the wearer from shameful long range situation, uh, weapons. The colorful crest that adorns it makes it possible to identify the wearer from a distance. Okay. Uh, after bronze. I don't. Okay. So then we end our turn. Okay, I d Yep, that's... Sure. Cards. You obtained these cards for the enemies and for yourself. All right. Sure. Now I wanna. I wanna pick. I wanna. Oh my god. Sure. So that's the enemy there, is it? Uh, thank you. The impenetra impenetrable best plate protects the indomitable heart of the errant knight with gourd, uh, gorget, pauldrons, and fald to resist the blows of any joust. All right. Great. Great stuff. All right. Let's end the turn. Here comes the guards. Alright, so we got that. 
Yeah, we still can't. Not too fast. Okay. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what we did there, but we didn't, we didn't pick up our thing. Sure. All right, we did our stuff. So the enemies are about to make me lose some cards, I guess. I lose three movement cards. Yep. Right. And then... So we picked up some more cards. The guards are coming for us, though. I guess that's that's the end of the guards' turn. Sure. Um. There we go. Dichoso el siglo en el que el sabio cronista relate las hazañas del famoso caballero Don Quijote de la Mancha. That's very loud. Es así me han de llamar desde hoy. Salgo presto. I do like I do like the Spanish voice acting, but I don't know what he's saying. I think it's what's on the on the screen there. Uh, ready to put wrongs to right and to reverse injustices of every kind, and by overcoming such perils, eternal flame and glory will be mine. Not even Reynold. Oh, it's so it's really hard to pay attention, but that's okay. We'll just let him talk. Toda la gloria de mis gestas sea para la dama de mis amores. Pero cuidado. Un detalle en cuenta no he tenido. Pues con rigor armado caballero aún no he sido. Muy clara la ley de... Así debe comenzar mi aventura. Hacerme armar caballero... Se... Por la puerta abierta del corral debió de marcharse el señor Quijano. Al despuntar el alba y sin previo aviso. Preocupados nos tiene su juicio desde hace tiempo. Multitud de jornadas dedicadas con cartones a construir para el yelmo una celada medida. Nadie osa decirle que hace más risa que intimida. Y recuperadas de un rincón, las armas de... Con pasmo le hemos oído jurar amor a una dama del toboso. Una moza labradora del lugar que ni es dama ni conocimiento de su amor tiene. Y se hay... Ok, so... Uh, I do like the voice acting, but, um, I guess we, we had had enough of it because I don't know what they're saying. I mean, I do know what they're saying because it's translated there. Casi un día entero caminó, y al anochecer vio a lo lejos una venta que se le presentó como un castillo. Que le armase... Sure. Defeat all the villains who want to prevent you from keeping a village over your arms. A balsam of fear about Okay. So these are the baddies, I guess. Sure. So now we're getting into the combat. Here is a pack of combat cards. Choose three. Uh, I don't. Each of your cards will be placed in one of your in front of one of your enemies' cards. Okay, depending on the enemy's characteristics, they may play some concealed cards. One, of which one is applied? Uh, the default option is the top one, unless the condition is met. Got it. Right. I don't... So I don't... I don't know what's going on here. Sure.
Okay. Right. I don't... I, I don't I don't know man. Um Like is this really what this is super anticlimactic given the music? There's not even like a clash or anything. It's just dun 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 dun, dun. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, sure. Yeah, so nothing happens there. We both take some damage. This is very boring. Yeah, this is just not amazingly uh, interesting at all. But that's okay. Um, oh, there we go. Sure. So we won. Okay. Sure. I I don't I don't know what's supposed to be happening, man. This is very I don't know, it's managing to be kind of interesting in the way it's being delivered, but also just incredibly boring in the actual execution. Um, none of the cards have any pictures on them or anything, or any art to make them more interesting. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. So we're going to go back in. We're going to fight this guy, I guess. So our stamina carries over. All right. Um. There we go. Yep. So we can do some damage. And we might just be able to kill him here. Oh, no, he's going to have one health left. Oh, no, we got him. Flawless victory. Well, jeez. Sure. Time to fight this last guy, and then, yeah... Um, if enemy is attacking. Yep. Uh, there we go. Yep, I was, uh, I was attacking. No, we both took a bunch of damage. Cool. Dun, 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 dun. Are you guys ready for some more? Dun, 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 dun. Sure. Sure. Like, that seems fine. So we both just blocked. We did a good job blocking each other, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so that's our, that's our only attack. Great. 
Yeah, but we only need to hit him for one, so this should be fine. Yeah. We did it! What is the point of having the voice acting if you have horns going over the top of it? Uh... Yeah. If you wanna if you wanna read what he's saying, uh, feel free to pause it. Disculpándose el castellano por la insolencia de aquella gente baja. Por la risa de Don Mosa, supe de su llegada. Una figura contra ella que... Alguna sospecha de su falta de juicio ya tenía, pero confirmadas quedaron. Y por el antojo de un arriero de dar de beber a su mulo, tuvo que tocarle lo pertrecho. El caballero enfurece... All right, um, so, uh, let's go look at the description, because I don't, I don't know, there's a lot of things going on here, and I, I really like the art, and I like the way this is being delivered, but the actual gameplay is just so plain. Um, and it has no sort of icing. It's like, like someone went and bought a vanilla cake from the store. Just the insides and didn't ice it. There's nothing in it. So let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. All right, Quixote Quest for Glory is a tactical card strategy game based on the work of Miguel de Cervantes. Lead Don Quixote on his heroic journey and experience some of the most familiar episodes of the classic novel, published in the 17th century. Uh, developed by Cubis Games. Uh, currently costs $2.49, so that's great. That is... <laughs> honestly, there is a lot of uh, goodness here for $2.49. If this was gonna... If, if, if I was gonna come out here and this was gonna be like 20, 30 bucks, I probably would have complained, but for $2.49, why not give it a go? And if you're not familiar with Don Quixote, he's the, you know, reason that we have the phrase tilting at windmills, you know, because he would attack windmills. Um, I, like I said, I, I like, I like the, I like the music. I like the voice acting. It'd be cool if there was English language voice acting. I know why they didn't do English lang language voice acting, but it's uh, distracting listening to it in Spanish and then reading it in English. But I guess that's the point. I don't know. Um, I feel like it would just be more powerful if I could hear someone saying the words in English rather than reading it. Because if, I, if, if I'm listening to it in Spanish and reading it in English, as soon as I'm done reading, I'm going to skip. Whereas if you had someone saying it, I might listen for their enunciations and stuff. I don't know. That's just a personal preference there. Um, the other thing is, is right after you beat a level and they start talking immediately, you can't have the horns that loud because I couldn't hear what they were saying. So even if I could understand them, I couldn't hear them because the uh, the mix was bad. So some work to do on the sound stuff. Um, the other thing is, the cards are really plain to look at. There's just there's nothing going on there. They're not interesting at all. Um, there's no sound effects during the battle. They just sort of like press up against each other. There's no like, what ha or swords planking together or anything. You know, like lots of I've played lots of card battlers and lots of games similar to this. Um, and when the cards are interacting with each other, you get some sound effects to give you sort of more immersion, not just a real slow moving them in and then like the results. Like the characters didn't even react to being hurt. So that needs to be worked on. Um, also, the moving around the map just doesn't seem amazingly impactful. Maybe it becomes more important later, like you know, moving around and strategy and stuff like that. Um, but as it was, it was just kind of a chore, and there didn't seem to be any reason for it. Um, the the combat mini game, the the combat card game, was was more interesting because there was some strategy to it. But the the moving around the map just seemed really pointless. You know, I did. I don't know. I 
It just didn't seem like there was any reason for me to be bothering thinking about what was going on on those maps. Now, granted, I only did three or two or however many it was, um, and maybe it gets more important later, but the first two it just felt very uh, like a waste of time. Um, we have finished this game as we designed it. Beta testing has been done. However, goal is to deliver the first chapters and listen to the real players. We want to receive their feedback so we can improve and balance the rest of the chapters. Um, all right. They want to finish early access spring 2022. Isn't that now? But I mean, it's May, right? So we're into summer. Yeah, I don't know. Our full version will enable all the chapters, seven, and eventually add new cards that improve gameplay. Also, we could add new features that players would recommend after playing the game if we consider they are really worth it and feasible. Yeah, so make the actual card battling interesting. Because um, at the moment, this zzz, zzz, is easily the most boring animation for uh, the music that you've got going on and this epic art. Because you obviously, you know, you've got some real talent um, with your aesthetic and your artists. Why not lend some of that to your cards? You know, like if it's great defense, like have it be a, a you know, picture of someone giving a great defense, like someone with a shield wall. You know, like a big shield up or something, or you know, if it's like a, a counterattack, have a drawing of a counterattack, just a black card with some numbers on it. Come on, man, that's just it's just so boring. I don't care about any of these cards. It was just nothing. You know, like I want to see some cool stuff and maybe a quote from the book. Maybe a quote, or maybe just like a something cool. I don't know. I play Magic the Gathering. It's a game that I play, and they have cool photos. They have cool pictures. Sorry. Um, and sometimes they have cool, like, flavor text, and that's half the reason that it's fun. The flavor text and the, uh, the art, definitely, if it wasn't there, the game is just not as interesting. So there's some advice for you. Um, and also, like I said, this animation for the combat, just bad. So let's see. Uh, somewhere in La Mancha, in a place whose name I do not dare recall, not long ago there lived a gentleman, the kind who has a lance in Iraq, an old shield, a skinny nag, and a greyhound for coursing. Yep, so we saw that. It's a journey through the most significant episodes of the work of Cervantes. The plot revolves around the adventures of Don Quixote's point of view as a brave and powerful knight in search of eternal fame and glory. It's an interactive tactical card game which takes you on an adventure. The artistic features of the title and game mechanics will captivate the player from the very first moment. Like I said, the the art is amazing. Yeah, the, the way the game looks is amazing. And I, I really like the music. Um, and, I, and I'm impressed with the voice acting. I do wish there was an English version. Um, but it's pretty cool. So activity funded by the Ministry of Culture and Sport of Spain. Sure. So the government was like, hey man, make this cool um, video game. And they did. And um, might help explain why they're able to charge only $2.49. It's pretty cool, guys. It's pretty cool. So let's see some reviews. Story with narrator in Spanish. Very well performed. Yep, I agree. It is very well performed, but like I said, if it's in another language and I can read it first, I'm just going to skip. Uh, very loyal to the original work. Very good quality graphics and artwork. Moderately interesting gameplay. Currently very, very low price. Um, the positive uh, is positive, I think. The experience. Um, it's a nice way to learn the history of Don Quixote for those who do not read the original work. Um, which is as much as it took to play the proof of concept early release. It didn't cost as much, and I don't feel cheated for a few reasons. Sure. So, it's going to need a tutorial because the UI, though learnable by trial and error, is not Im immediately obvious, especially how a turn ends and how the cards in the tactical map work. Current overmap doesn't suggest very much total time in game to come. I hope that there are multiple maps or embellishment of what is there. I hope that when you do get some decent voice acting for the bits of narration in English, and all of your other user-designated languages that your voice actors have Spanish accents and not English accents. Overall, I really like this game and can't wait to see it grow. Let's see what the developers had to say about that. Thanks for your great review and for your interesting suggestions. We're listening to the community and working hard to improve the game. Cool. Yeah, I mean, they, 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 they gave some good uh, suggestions and it's pretty good. Like I said, and for, for $2.49, $2.50 New Zealand, that's a great price, and if you're just looking for something to play, something just to waste some time on, um, you could definitely do worse. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. That's Quixote Quest for Glory based on the 
uh, novel, you know, Don Quixote by Cervantes, as mentioned here. Um, and that's it. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.